Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, this week I'm going to start the tank update in the filter area. Um, I just want you to check out the amount of growth the Grape Calerpa has gone through in a week. Um, you can tell from the last video, I thinned this out pretty good. And pretty much right after I did it, it starts growing again. It's filled out over top of the Chato. I actually separated them, moved them to different areas and moved the light around so that I'd give the Chato a little room to grow in instead of having that on top of it. But in a matter of days, it started spreading right on top of it again. Uh, I can't really give a nice top shot because of the light. But you can see it spread to the back wall and across my first baffle. And it's filling out really, really well. So um, hopefully that's taking out some phosphate and nitrate in the tank. And... Uh, just the amount of growth that it ha that it goes through in a week is ridiculous. Okay, so let's move up to the main tank. Instead of going through every coral and saying how much I like the way it's doing, I want to take this uh, time to, to show you some, some things and, and offer my opinion on, on a few things. First, as you can see, the Duncan Coral, I've moved it again, um, and that primarily is because of her. She will not leave that thing alone. If I put it on this mid rock um, in the middle of the tank halfway up, or I put it down here on this rock pile here, um, anywhere from middle of the tank over to where she is, she will just go after it. She does not like that coral for some reason. I don't know why. But I've put it back over here. I've increased the white um, intensity on my lights and I've done that the last two days and the corals have really reacted positively to it and also uh, the anemones and everything's reacted really great to it so now as far as opinions go there are three different types of corals that you can get in your tank maricultured, aquacultured and also um, corals that come from other hobbyists now, in my tank, I know for a fact that the red digi that you see here, even though you can't really make it out, it still looks really bleached on my camera, but it does have polyps on it. And uh, I'm hopeful that it's on its way back. That is an aquaculture coral. That means that it was, um, it was taken right from the ocean and shipped through the facility. Maricultured, meaning that it was grown basically on a farm. Um, those corals, like the acans I have here, and the zoas and the pallies, um, they're doing well. The acans, even though they turned from red to orange in my tank, um, I've heard of a lot of them doing that but uh, they seem to do fairly well in my tank. But the last category, and that is the hobbyist, picking it up from another hobbyist, I have two I know for sure of, and that is the purple digi right here, and also my frog spawn right here. Now, as far as the purple digi is concerned, I mean, that's grown from the very first day I had, to, had it. Um, it grows really well and, and it reaches up to the lights now. The um, polyps are extended and they're coloring up really, really well. But primarily also my frog spawn. This coral has been with me ever since I started the hobby. I picked it up from a hobbyist that was close to my house. And this coral has proven to be practically bulletproof. I've dropped rocks on it. I've hit it against the glass. I've done a lot of things to this coral and it just keeps on growing, which I'm very happy about. So when you consider buying a coral, um, kind of, if you can, um, find out where it comes from and when you can uh, pick it up 
from another hobbyist because the, that coral has spent its life in a system. It's used to aquarium life and they seem to do a lot better in my opinion than a lot of the other corals. Um, not saying that Amaricultured or aquaculture coral can't do well in your system because it most certainly can. There's enough examples of that around. But it's being more forgiving for the you know, beginner to intermediate reefer. Ones that come from another hobbyist tank will, I think, in my opinion, be a little bit more forgiving and um, worth the expense of putting it into your system. So that being said, you can see that the, the zoanthids here in the pallies are really doing well. They're starting to spread. This um, group right here, that coral right, that polyp on the, on the left hand side right there is spread, has spread to the main rock. Uh, underneath this big group is actually the rock that I glued to this big rock and it, they're starting to spread. So I'm really happy about that. Um, since I've increased the intensity of my whites, the fungia plate has kind of puffed up and has more um, tentacle extension. So it's doing something and I'm happy with that. You can see the purple candy canes in the back. The eyes are green and their um, the gold bands are coming out more and more. The hammer coral over here, let's see if I get a better shot of it, is doing well and um, is growing. So I'm hoping that that'll split into uh, another head soon. My anemones are doing really, really well. You can see the one in the front, it's the closest to the clownfish and she does regularly go over there and nudge it and check it out so I it does show signs of time that it's being irritated by her and um, I'm hoping they grow because they these anemones have been in my system for about I guess about four or five months now and I just want a big beautiful anemone and they're just staying the same size so if anybody's got any ideas on how to increase them, you know, as far as growth is concerned, uh, let me know in the comments below. The torch coral, um, for a coral that I purchased at Reefapalooza for $25, it was well worth it. There's about two or three heads under there, and it's getting huge. So I am thrilled about that. And just to look really across... Um, Everything is pretty much the experiment with the with the red digi as far as growing wise. Some pieces, when my blues come on, you can see it a lot better, and you may have seen it in the in the video that I did last. Um, so I'm hopeful that I can keep most of that uh, or all of it, but well, that remains to be seen. Mushrooms again, just covering everything, and they get bigger and bigger. So. You can see the, the Hollywood Stunner Chalice in the back. It's growing, it's now touching the return. So I gotta really make a decision soon and to see, and see how to uh, maybe move that or um, just take a frag off of it and put it somewhere else in the tank to see if it'll grow free there. Uh, the pallies are doing good, the green pallies. They're actually really stretched up so we'll see what the increase in the light does to them. Fish wise, everything's doing really good. The blue hippo's doing good. They're all getting fat. They eat, you know, there's no one off their diet. They eat really good. My powder blue, he's just the boss of the tank. You know, the big fish, he's the boss. He's the boss of the tanks and he also is the boss of the fox face. Out of the little fish, she's the boss. She will, you can see these, the, the mollies I have. Um, 
the little guy will chase them away, but if they get too close, the onyx clown will come out and uh, kind of really pursue them away. So that's pretty much it for today's uh, update. I have some plans in the works and I will hopefully give you a little heads up when, when they happen. Um, there's some people I've reached out to, to for a few projects that I want to work on. And um, again, based upon which one I can get to, you'll probably see a teaser or something come out about that. So, the, uh, I guess you could say that this week is, is increase in light is doing good for the tank. Um, there are some issues that I have with some of my corals, but there are others that are really doing well. And I mean, that's, that's all part of, part of the hobby. You know, if everything goes well all the time, you know, it would, it would be just boring. So that's it for me today. And, um, I hope to have something for you real soon. Till then, this is Scott and I will see you again next time by the tank.